Guten Tag alle, heute wollte ich nur ein bisschen mehr über das Passiv uh, mit euch sprechen. Today I just want to talk a little bit more about the Passive with you. Uh, in order to form the Passive voice in the present and past tense, you're going to need to be familiar with the forms of the verb werden. The present tense forms ich werde, du wirst, er wird, wir werden, ihr werdet, sie werden. And the past tense forms are ich wurde, du wurdest, er wurde, wir wurden, ihr wurdet, sie wurden. Most likely when you are forming a sentence in the passive voice, you're going to be using the third person singular form of this verb both in the present and past most often. You will use the others, but this one will more than likely be the one you use most often. So what are the three meanings of wert, of the verb werden? It's useful now to go over those again. One, it is used to form the future tense, like when in English we want to say will. Two, it is uh, means become or is becoming, or in the past tense can mean became. Or in English we say sometimes got, for example, I became sick or I got sick. And then thirdly, it's used to form the passive tense. And in the present and past tense, that meaning is most often closely correlated with is being or was being. Okay, so if we have a sentence like the house is being built, which is a passive voice uh, sentence in the present tense, in German this would be das Haus wird gebaut. So you have the form of the verb werden plus the past participle of bauen, which is gebaut. My motorcycle is being painted. Mein Motorrad wird gestrichen. The book was being written. Here we have the um, past tense or preteritum in passive voice. Das Buch wurde geschrieben. German is being learned by the class. Here we're going to insert a um, preposition. Deutsch wird von der Klasse gelernt. The work was being done. Die Arbeit wurde gemacht. And finally, finally, the light is being turned off. Das Licht wird ausgemacht. And uh, for a reminder about forming the past participle of separable prefix verbs, the G is placed between the prefix and the rest of the verb. Okay, so let's use it for a moment in some various uh, functions of werden. I am becoming sick is ich werde krank. And the future tense, er wird Deutsch lernen. Remember, when you're using werden in the future tense, the other verb must be placed at the end in its infinitive form, like lernen in this sentence. He became sick. We're going to use the past tense. Er wurde krank. He has become sick. Uh, you're going to use geworden, is past participle of werden. It means ha become when you're using it in the present perfect tense. And it's always going to use sein as a helping verb, not haben. So instead of saying er hat krank geworden, which for English speakers, this is a trap we often fall into when learning German, you want to say er ist krank geworden, which means he has become sick. Okay, the past participle of werden is geworden, but when used with a passive voice, it drops the GE, thus becoming worden. So to say the car is being repaired, Das Auto wird repariert. That's the present tense passive voice. The car was being repaired. Das Auto wurde repariert. This is the past tense passive voice. The car has been rep repaired. This is where we, this, this is going to come in. Das Auto ist repariert worden. That changes from Das Auto ist repariert geworden. The GE is dropped. Das Buch wird gelesen means the book is being read. Das Buch wurde gelesen, the book was being read. Das Buch ist gelesen worden, the book has been read. Er wird alt, he is becoming old or he is getting old. Er wurde alt, he became old or he got older. Er ist alt geworden means he has become older. So das wär's und vielen Dank.